Oh, baby. I'm so excited. I think I know what it is. You know how badly I've wanted this bag. I want you to have everything you want in life, babe. Wait, what is this? Kate Spade? I can't be caught wearing Kate Spade. I told you I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. I know, but Bella, things are pretty tight right now. Baby, I promise, once my business takes off, I'll buy you any bag you want. Just have some faith in me, please. Whatever. That stupid idea of yours, it's never gonna take off. I won't be caught dead wearing a cheap bag like this. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's go. Okay. So what do you feel like eating? So I'm craving steak and wine. Oh, um, I was thinking maybe something a little less expensive. How about Denny's? Denny's? Are you kidding? You're gonna take me, a girl that looks like this, into Denny's for dinner? No, come on, come on, please start. Here we go again. When are you finally gonna get rid of this junk and get a nice car? Bella, I'm telling you, once this business takes off, I'm going to be able to take you wherever you want to go. How many times do I have to tell you that your stupid idea is not gonna work? <gasps> there we go. <laughs> please, just have some faith in me. Stop acting like a loser. So I really hope nobody sees me in this crappy car. Hey, babe. What is going on here? I'm excited you're here. Oh, you were able to get the back you wanted. Yeah, well, you weren't gonna do it, so I had to take care of it myself. Uh, well, well, I'm happy for you. Anyways, um, take a seat. So, babe, um, we've been together for almost a year now. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I can't imagine my life without you. So, Bella, will you marry me? What is that? Are you kidding? That doesn't even look like a two-carat ring. It's so small! I, I know, and I want to give you the best of everything this world has to offer. I promise you, if you have some faith in me, once my business takes off, I will give you the stone of your dreams. Look, let's get one thing clear, okay? Your business is never going to take off. And no, I am not going to marry you, and I'm not going to be caught wearing that tiny diamond on my finger. You know what? Estefan was right. You're never going to change. Estefan? Who's Estefan? The other guy I'm seeing. You didn't seriously think I was going to wait around until you get me the things that I really want. Who do you think got me this bag? Um... I don't understand. Babe, please, have, have some faith. No. I am done. I need a real man who can satisfy my needs. Good luck with your business, which is never going to take off. John was devastated and couldn't believe that Bella had left him. Bella ends up going to Estefan and having a really good time with her new guy. She finally met someone who could take care of her needs and buy her expensive gifts. Meanwhile, John slowly got over the breakup and really focused on his business. Before long, John met someone new that believed in him and wasn't in it for the money. Bella, on the other hand, comes to visit Estefan only to find out he's buying expensive gifts for another girl. Her life started going down while John's started going up. His business ends up taking off. Then one day, they happen to run into each other. Oh my God, John. Hey, Bella, long time no see. Wow, you look amazing. Is that a Louis bag? Yeah picked up a little something. I thought you didn't like Kate Spade. Oh, that's just for a friend. 
So, is this your car? Yeah, just picked it up. Pretty nice, right? Yeah. Listen, I really can't stop thinking about you. I don't understand. Um, what about your new boyfriend, Stefan? The rich guy? Oh, that's over. He ended up... Anyway, remember that ring you got me? I've been thinking, and actually, I'm, I'm really fine with hey, hey. this up. There she is. <laughs> hey, you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, let me introduce you, Bella. This is Rose, Rose Bella. We used to date like years ago. Hey, nice to meet you. I didn't realize you had a new girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> actually it's fiance. John proposed a week ago. Isn't it amazing? I told him he didn't have to do so much. Well, I want you to have everything you want in life, mm -hmm. babe. Aw, <laughs> thank you, baby. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Um, we're gonna be late for our dinner reservations. Right, we wouldn't want you missing <laughs> the steak and wine. Um, it was nice seeing you, Bella. I don't understand. What does she have that I don't? Well, she believed in me. You see, when you would get mad at me for not being able to buy you a designer bag, Rose would get mad at me for buying her any bag at all. She wanted me to invest my money in the business instead. And when you would get upset at me when I couldn't buy you expensive dinners, Rose would get upset at me if I tried to take her out at all. She would cook me homemade meals so I could focus on my work. And when you left me for not buying you a big enough diamond, Rose stood by my side waiting patiently until my business took off so I could finally buy her the ring she deserved. So you see, she believed in me when I had nothing. So now I want to give her everything. It was good seeing you, Bella. A lot of people will show up during your success with their hand out, acting like you owe them something. But if someone doesn't believe in you during your worst, then don't let them celebrate with you during your best. Always prioritize the person that was there for you when you had nothing. That person that helped you save your money rather than spend your money. That person that helps you focus on work rather than get sidetracked by distractions. And that person that believed in your potential even when no one else could see it. So remember, Unless they're riding with you during your low, keep it moving when they show up during your high.